go here, check out the absinthe. I'm assuming this is just repeating stuff I could see, but I don't know for sure. So I don't imagine this will lead to... Oh. Hmm, okay, maybe not. Maybe, that, maybe there wasn't a sound like I thought there was. Um, won't be able to go through that door because it's locked. He may be outside then. Because I don't know, I assume I probably need to find maybe Cyrus and... What was her name again? His mother. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, well, it's not this way. This just takes me to the fountain. Yeah, so that's nothing new. Uh... This isn't opened yet. Hmm. Okay, hint, skeleton. What do you have for me? There's something you need in the hayloft. Oh, okay. That actually helped a lot. <laughs> I don't think I would have gone back to the hayloft either, so this actually kind of does help out. Well, that's good. Because I assume I take this and maybe I show it to Malcolm, whatever is in the hayloft. I guess it's true. I didn't go. I didn't go this way. Oh, here they are. Uh, okay. What are they doing? Is that a? So this is, is really that a bird? Home, huh? Yep. Got it fixed uh, up. Possibly. Just like I like it. Looks real homey, all right. Yes, yeah, I actually take care of that play. Yeah, so it's just like a fake bird. That's like a, a puppet or something. That's pretty funny. What's for dinner tonight, Cyrus? You mean supper? <laughs> yeah, supper. Well, looks like Ma's making rabbits too, see? A rat? A rabbit. It's not a bird. Never mind. I'm a good hunter. I can kill him with my bare hands. Oh. That's good. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Megan, I feel like that'd be your kind of response to something like that. If you're trying to be nice about something, I mean. Oh. It's like, oh, that's good. That'd probably be mine, too, at least to a degree. So what do we have here in the hayloft? What could have been left behind? This? Oh, is, is it? No, that's the hole. I don't imagine that's helpful. Oh, there is. Ah. Oh. What is that? It's making all sorts of sounds I wouldn't expect. Is it a nail or something? I guess she did say a nail tore her britches, right? So that would that wouldn't make sense. That would explain it. Hmm. Okay, so that's something. Put the hammer back. Oh, I have the nail. Okay. I thought the nail fell. I didn't think I actually had it. Hmm. 
So it's a bent nail. Do I show this to Malcolm? I don't imagine a bent nail would be of much help, though. What could I use with a nail? Was there anything I needed to nail up? No, right? I don't believe so. Not that I remember anyway. Let's see, do you guys have any new dialogue? No. See, that would just be kind of weird having them just like live in your barn. That would be kind of strange. A little bit. So I have a nail. What can I do with a nail? Would you be able to use it to get the key out of the keyhole? Oh, Megan, that's genius. I don't know if that's what they'd want you to do, but it's the only thing you've gone that's been small enough to do something like that. That is true. That is true. Yeah, I think you might be right. Very unconventional way to use a nail, but it makes sense. Like in this context, it makes sense. And you say you're bad at puzzle games. I usually am. I have the odd moment of inspiration every now and then. Mmm. Well, make me use the paper first. I will not. Oh. Yes! Yes, Megan! We did it! <laughs> so now do I need to do anything to get the key, or can I just open the door? You might just be able to open the door now. This key is useless now. Discard? I oh, know she she's uh, upset with the, the key. Maybe I can just open it. Okay, so I can get the key out. And maybe now I can use this, I guess. So I would have done this first. Damn, why didn't I think of this before? Oh. I did, but it didn't go red. Ah, oh, man. What can I do now? Oh, can I poke it out? Okay, that worked. So I guess this is maybe a way of like having, like doing the puzzle two different ways. Because I guess if I would have actually like done my idea, because my idea was you put the newspaper underneath, you poke it out, and then you pull it out, right? Like what you see in the cartoons. Yeah. But I guess that's one way to do it. And I guess the other way is you can use the poker. That's neat. I like that. Oh, I should use the key, shouldn't I? It's a normal looking key. Yes. Now let's get in there. So what's in this mystery room? Oh, is this the attic? So it does have an attic? I guess it would. It is a mansion. That's true. Eh, not much here, though.
Hmm. This door is also locked. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, just had to jiggle it a little bit. Nothing good ever happens in the attic. Also making slash having dinner. You are correct. Attics are bad in video games. Honestly, probably even bad in real life. Oh, so hopefully your dinner is coming along well. The Vampire by John Polidori. That's a lame name for a book. A little bit. The Vampire. To Malcolm from Zoltan. Oh, that's the old guy from town. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder. Can I rest in this bed? That's a tiny bed. Dude, that's like... It's like an, that's like a Snow White and the Seven Dwarves kind of bed. I guess it is made for a small boy. But look at that. That's so tiny. See, what do we see? I would sleep up here, though. Would you? Mm, maybe. It's a nice view. It it does have a nice view. I don't know. I, 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 the room seems kind of comfy. Small but comfy. It does. The Vampire by Maybe John. a bit too isolated. Something earlier. Maybe. Oh, I can open that it. Yes, spin it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <spin> <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, oops. let's drop a save just in case. Yeah. So we don't want to go. We don't want to go. Need to redo all this progress. Cause I'm pretty sure the chapter's probably gonna end relatively soon. See, I think I said this earlier, or maybe I was, and then I got distracted and forgot to finish my sentence. Like sometimes happens during streams. Um, a lot of older games like these also kind of rely on the puzzle just being kind of hard right like there's not too much going on but it's like you solve the big puzzle and then like it's it's over right uh which is why a lot of these chapters seem relatively short because it's like well as long as you're just kind of doing the puzzles and you're not really getting stuck like i have been then you can get through everything pretty quickly and some older games you're light on this mega man I guess being kind of an example where it's like, well, the game itself isn't really that long, but you get stuck on the robot robot masters long enough, right? Run out of lives, etc. You're you're gonna struggle a little bit. Not gonna not gonna be able to finish it that quickly. Go here. Go here. All right, lady. I got something for you this time. For real. You again? I already told you no. Wait. Why is she still listening? I found this book in the tower room. See? Just a minute. I'm counting. All right, you can come in now. It didn't even take that long. So what is this guy going to look like? He's clearly over 100. So will he look it? Oh, he's sitting in the chair, huh? Malcolm. She's here. Malcolm. She is here. He beckons. Come here. <clears throat> You're living in Kano's house. Yes, sir. You found my book. Yes, I, I, I did, sir. Don't call me, sir. I, I, 
I, I, I don't like it. It, it, it. it makes me feel old. Mm, same. Well, what should I call you? Malcolm. My name is, is, is Malcolm. It's called call Malcolm, that. dude. Malcolm? Is it true you lived with Carno as a boy? Did you sleep in the tower room? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> that was my room. What was Carno like? Enough. I just came here, though. I have one question for you. Yes? And then, after that, you, you have to leave. Oh. What is it? Tell me. How is the house? Everything okay? Mm. I guess. Don't know if I like where this is going. What do you mean? Good. That, that's what I wanted to hear. I, I'm tired. You, you have to go now. But... It, no. Well, thank you. Hmm. Okay, so that was pretty interesting. Kind of mysterious. So I guess we just go home? Uh oh. Oh, wait. Uh oh. Okay, wait. I can I can scrape it along the... Oh, wait a minute. Did I discover oh. the fix? Or did I not? It was trapped down here, but then I realized I can drag it along the edges. But you can't get in the window. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh. No. There's something about the edges. But then if you move them along, I don't know. That's interesting. I don't know if that's the secret to fixing it or not. But I'm going to damn well assume it is. And then uh, if I get stuck again in the window, then we'll see if that actually does fix it. If it does, I might be the first person that discovered it, which is neat. <laughs> and I can uh, then when anybody asks I can say hey you ever see one uh, one stream on uh... oh this isn't gonna be too good oh it's Don isn't it yeah Don's gone full creeper whoa oh god you scared me and where have you been all day I don't know around in the house <laughs> in town I thought I told you to stay away from all of those people People. What people? Those <laughs> stupid townspeople. What that people? This is silly. I'm not finished with you yet. You're telling me what to do? Well, where were you all day? None of your business, honey. Well, I'll tell you what. You take care of your business, and I'll take care of mine. Well, we're gonna see about that. Oh, he's he's so menacing, dude. Yes. Chapter four. Friday, October 21st, 7 a.m. Oh, no. He doesn't have a shirt on. He has a very hairy chest, too. Yeah, he does. Leave me alone. That's not leaving her alone, dude. <laughs> okay, this is really strange. I can't tell if he's actually being, like, normal or if this is just him being really weird still. It's him being really weird. 
But she's not like brushing him off. So are we gonna see Booba? It's okay if we see Booba. Twitch says it's allowed in small doses if it fits the game. So if we see Booba, it's fine. Nobody panic, I promise. Strategic Booba. Yeah, basically. I think their guidelines do just say like, well, nudity is allowed if it's in the context of the game. And it, I think it even says if it's not like the main focus of the game, which is fair. Oh, yeah. And if you have the mature rating in your stream, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Man, look at him. He's like eating her face off, dude. Yeah, that's a little much. <laughs> she's like, she's just there trying to do her hair, and he's just like, nah. We're gonna fuck. He's like... <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many times I had to do this. Be like, nah, that wasn't quite good enough. Do it again. I mean, it's just so weird. It's so weird. Like, it's so awkward looking. But this isn't how a couple would do this. Probably not. That's how they portrayed a lot on TV, though. That is true. Oh. Uh, the animalistic nature is coming out. Dude, look at him go, man. Okay, if you're gonna have like this serious music and him like going crazy, you can't have her just sitting there laughing. Well, I don't know if she was. It did kind of sound like laughing. I don't know if it was supposed to. Cause that just looked like he just full on raped her. I think he might have. Yeah. Okay, it's not often that I'll say a rape scene and something is funny, but I gotta admit, the way that was acted was actually fairly amusing. That was a little bit over the top and goofy, yeah. It was, it was a little bit over the top and goofy. Okay, I'm assuming that would have been one of the censored scenes. Probably. So I'm glad I left it uncensored, because that, yeah. I don't know, that was just a lot of weird emotions. I couldn't tell if, it, I guess it started off kind of nice, supposed to be at least, yet still kind of awkward. Then it went into an awkward, like, rape scene, I guess. Strange, but sure. Okay. Okay, wait, hold on. It won't go up anymore. Uh, now it's not going down. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, if we just slam it around. Oh, man. I, I think that actually fixed it. That's kind of funny. It's like, oh, it's not working. Just just slam it around. Fix it. Yeah, it's, well, it's weird. It's like a little invisible barrier comes up. And then I guess if you break it down, maybe it goes away. That's weird. I don't get it, but... That's very weird. Uh, just progress at the start of chapter four. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't make anything. We should call it here. Or do you think we should try to finish the chapter? I think this is a good spot to stop it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. So I think. Yeah. I think we'll stop it here. Uh, I wasn't too sure how long of a game this would be. I know you can beat the game in, like, a good amount of time. Like, I think on how long to beat it, it tells me, like, six hours, roughly. Uh, okay. so I was like, depending on how fast we get through the puzzles, maybe we'll even kind of beat that. So that's why I didn't label the session. I wasn't too sure. But it seems like we're not going to beat it all in one go. Perfectly fine. No. So we'll beat it, uh, next time. Now... Most likely. When do you think we will be able to start this up again? I'm just kind of curious. Like, would you want to do it on next Saturday, perhaps? Oh, we can maybe do it on Saturday or Sunday next weekend. Yeah. 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 Saturday or Sunday next weekend. So I'm thinking Saturday or Sunday, maybe both. Could maybe do it on both. If we need to. Because I'm thinking, if it makes sense to you, I'm thinking do it on Saturday, and then if we can't finish it Saturday, finish it Sunday, and then we'll have next weekend is Pokemon weekend, right? 
Oh yeah, that's true. That is a couple weeks away. Yeah. So that's kind of why I, I would really like to finish it next weekend, right? Okay. Um. So yeah. Okay. So I guess we'll do that. So next weekend on Saturday we'll try to finish it. As long as once again, as long as Megan's cool with it. I Her mean, silence yeah. tells me yes. Okay, good. <laughs> well, no, I'm just thinking because we have that oh. thing we're gonna go check out next weekend, right? Yeah, that's true. But I mean, but we're gonna go for that in the morning, so I I doubt we'll be there like all day or anything. Yeah, yeah. So there's this um, what do they call it like nerd sale or something? What do they call it? It's basically like a vendor sale. It's selling like video game and like crafty stuff. So we're gonna go check it out. Yeah, but well, I more meant like the name. I, I know it's called nerd something or other, but yeah, like Megan yeah, it's said, nerd it's nerd sale. Oh, okay. I thought maybe it had a cooler name, but nerd still works no. well. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it has a bunch of, like Megan said, vendors. So we're going to check that out. If there isn't anything cool, I'll probably take pictures and let you guys know. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so uh, we'll finish this up on Saturday. And then after that, we'll wait until the 26th for Phantasmagoria 2. Yeah, this has been a, so Megan, what, what are your thoughts on Phantasmagoria so far? Um, I think it's, it does have, like, an interesting premise. There's, admittedly, there's not, like, a ton to draw me to the game. And admittedly, if I was playing this by myself, I probably would have stopped already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is not very engaging, but I don't really like a lot of adventure games. They, it, they have a hard time holding my attention. It's just very different, right? Yeah. It's just a very different kind of game. Which is why I like it. Like I said, I'm mostly doing this. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this, believe it or not. I'm enjoying this game. But I am mostly doing this as just kind of a stepping stone towards Phasma Phantasmagoria 2, right? Which is a lot more interesting, a lot more engaging. This is neat, but the story seems very basic. Haunted house. Boyfriend probably possessed, right? There is a lot more going on in Phantasmagoria 2. Okay. But I do. I have been enjoying this. I will say that I have been enjoying this a decent amount. Uh, once again, not a game for everyone. But if you like kind of weird puzzle games, I mean, you could certainly do a whole lot worse. And plus, I don't know. The cutscenes are funny, right? The cutscenes are kind of amusing. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna make sure. Just gonna do the gamer thing and do one more, one more save. All right. So yeah. So next Saturday we will finish the game off. Then we'll take. Uh, then we'll just kind of do things normal. Then Friday, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we're going to be busy doing Pokemon stuff. That won't be on stream, but that will be recorded. Yeah. And the only reason why it's not going to be on stream is because I know Megan's probably going to want to play it like all day and probably at various points throughout the day. Yeah. So okay. like through all of those days. So, you know, it just makes more sense to just be like, okay, well, let's just slap it in record it throw it online right we could also do it without recording it but i mean yeah you guys know me i like to record stuff if i can yeah so let's see if we can send a raid out to someone cool uh because raids are cool right megan i like raids raids are cool raids are cool uh, so let us see, let us see give me uno momento please while i have a look at my list Uh, let's send it off to... Actually, not a lot of people online. There aren't that many people online. Interesting. Normally, more people would be online today. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions, by the way, feel free to uh, throw them out there. Because, yeah, not, you know not a lot of people online. I, have I haven't, like, looked at anyone on Twitch in a while, though, but... Let me see. Do, 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 do. Mm. Nope, not really. <laughs> Pretty much everyone I have online is streaming League or Overwatch 2. Okay, fair. Yeah, because I have, because I guess that's kind of the other thing is I do have some people on, but I don't really think you, either you guys are really care for the games or the games I want to do soon enough myself. And so it's like, well, I don't want to spoil people. 
Uh, yeah. Hold on, let me let me do a quick reload because there's the chance that it didn't load someone. Because I don't know, yeah. Twitch has done that for me before. Uh, well, Ronnie Farrow is doing Dungeons and Dragons, which might be kind of fun. So I think oh, yeah. maybe we'll send it his way. Uh, if I can just copy that. All right, copy. And slap down the paste. All right, cool. So anybody going over there, feel free to send him a nice frag raid. And yeah, keep an eye out for next Saturday when we will be finishing off Phantasmagoria. And uh, let's see what's on the list for me personally. I do want to start up Resident Evil Code Veronica soon. But I think next stream I might start off something a little different. I might start off doing something a little different. I'll let you guys uh, know it's another secret, but I'll let you guys know a bit more when we get around there. All right. For now, though, I guess that is it for the stream. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I had a really good time. I hope Megan did, too. Yeah. Okay, good. But for now, I guess it's time we cue the outro. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for, uh, for a little, little Bye. song. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. Break out. Catch you guys later.